Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Mod. We are going to jump in this time just as regular old little old fish. I still can't believe we have like nothing unlocked for fish. So let's just try and do some golden weapon unlocking and get some crowns going and the old shebang. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I have to say, uh, as, as it gets spoken about more and more, I'm more and more looking forward to patch update 31 that's coming to uh, Ultra Mod. It seems to be pretty big. Apparently, it's going to change. Oh, I'm just going to restart, considering I just missed out on the uh, thingy um, rads there. Um, yeah, so uh, it, it's got quite a lot of stuff coming with it. One of the things that I find pretty interesting is there's going to be an increase in the amount of weapon drops. Uh, which I really like the idea of because there is so many weapons in this mod that like actually getting a weapon that you want as in like if you're looking for anything specific is pretty impossible. Uh, you've just kind of at the whim of the game because there's so many new weapons. So I like the idea of um, having the ability to have a little bit more weapon drops, get a more variety, and then also if you do have a weapon that you just want to stick with, there's no obligation to pick up other guns. So I kind of like the idea behind that. We'll, uh, we'll go down here, why not? Don't want to go down there quite yet, thank you. That's what I'm looking for right up here. Ooh, crossbow as well. I think I'll take both, thank you. We'll see if we can get a bolt marrow going on, maybe. We shall see, we shall see. But even just for now, it's going to help with these rather annoying bouncy, bouncy boy enemies that I honestly just absolutely shit the bed with every single time. Every single time. But yeah, I've been thinking, I, I, obviously anyone that watches my channel for stuff other than just Nuclear Throne has probably noticed by now that I've been changing up my thumbnail style to unfortunately just fit what trends, which is not my most enjoyable way of doing YouTube thumbnails. I much prefer the ones that I used to do, but they just don't get the, the same amount of views. I mean, these new thumbnails are clearly showing to be very popular, and so I'm going to keep doing them. And I'm like, maybe I should start doing this for Nuclear Throne 2, like, just to help my channel. But also, I think that more people need to know about Ultra Mod. It needs to be more widely spread, um, and it isn't right now. So I'm thinking maybe potentially changing up my thumbnails for this series as well, um, and changing over to that. Um, I think Plutonium Hunger for right now. Apparently Plutonium Hunger is getting a bit of a nerf as well, which is honestly deservedly so. Because it is an, it is increased over the base game value of their uh, increased reach. Uh, but it's going to be turned down. Not quite turned down to the level of the base game. It's still going to be better than the base game, but not as egregiously better than, than it currently is. Now this guy is going to be a problem for us, but I think we've, we might be okay with him actually. I think we've killed him. Yeah, we have. Plasma gun? I'll take a plasma gun. Why not? We've not got bolt marrow yet, so there's no point sticking with that weapon thus far. Frost assault pistol. Also pretty good, but I'm liking the um, shotgun shoulders. Little shotgun setup we've got going on right now. It's proving to be pretty darn good. Um, hmm. Second stomach we'll go for. Try and have a, a good old run here. Second stomach. Gonna help us out an absolute ton. Anything else down here? No. I've also, unfortunately, I've cut my thumb, and it's the thumb that rests on the side of my mouse. I was, um, I'm, earlier today, so I don't know if anyone, I don't know if it's like a UK-only thing, or like, Europe-only thing, should I say, but uh, there's this brand of cheese called Borsan, or Bors, Borsan, Borsan, I don't know how you, how you best pronounce it, but it's basically just like, sort of soft cheese, like, absolutely filled to the brim with herbs and garlic, it's amazing. But it's quite high in calories, so I wanted to, like, find a way to make my own, so I found a recipe, and I made some. But I was, um, I was cutting up the, um, the garlic, and I proper sliced my finger. I properly sliced it. So I've got a bit of a cut now. Um, I've I was wearing a plaster earlier today, but it was absolutely peeving me off, so I had to take it off. Because, like, if there's, like, a, if there's, like, a cut on sort of, like, the tip of your finger, or near the tip of your finger, or something like that, it just... Ooh. Mini flame cannon penetrate a maggot launcher. Mini flame cannon. Yeah, mini flame cannon. Let's go with that. Let's go straight through here, shall we? Uh, I am going to grab a crown just so that we unlock starting with crowns for fish because we kind of need to do that. And considering we've got plutonium hunger, I'm going to go with um, the crown of haste. Because the resources are mostly going to be absorbing right into us so we don't need to worry about them fading quicker. And also, that just is nice with second stomach, because I think they'll be worth five per HP drop now, right? 
I think that's how that works. I can't remember if it makes rads more valuable either. Like, pair rad on the floor is, is like does better for you. Right, fire v fire. I don't know which is going to be better, our shotgun right now or my flame cannon, but I'm going to give the flame cannon a go. This guy ten, tends to have quite a bit of HP here, so it can be a little tricky. We are looking to upgrade our shotgun to something else soon, but I'm kind of waiting to find a different shotgun so that shotgun shoulders isn't useless for us. Obviously, we could wait and like, just see if we get one later down the line, but I'm impatient. I'd rather just keep the shotgun I have now. Considering as well, it's actually doing a decent amount in terms of killing power, so it's not exactly like we're... Uh, we're doing a bad job with it. Mmm, that's kind of tricky. Alien testing, maybe. Blood rocket gun. So now is now is where the shotgun's going to prove itself to be not quite as spicy. Not quite as nicey. The flame cannon might be pretty good, but it's only a mini flame cannon. How about this, this, this rocket? Oh my lord, I like that. If I has two rockets... Oh wait, it's fully auto, I see. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Very good because it destroys bullets. Wow, I like this. It's obviously not quite the best damage-wise, but I quite like it. I quite like it. It's taking these guys out in a hurry and destroying their bullets, which I'm very, very appreciative of. And with Plutonium Hunger as well, we're like getting ammo back for it pretty easily. The only thing is, like, you have to be quite accurate with it to actually hit enemies. It's, like, not got a lot of AoE for an explosive weapon. But I like this a lot. Wow. I like this a lot and a lot. Haven't used my alien intestines yet. I keep forgetting about it. Um, Puffy Cheeks could be good here. Alkaline Saliva. I think I'm going to go with Absorbing Paws, to be honest. Um, and we'll go with... We'll go with Morph on this thing. What we got going down here? The Hyper Glove. Mm, this abuse is explosive ammo as well, so I don't want to double dip, really. Nice. Okay, that didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I was, as I was hoping it would. That being the um, Alien Intestine there. I was really hoping Alien Intestine would do a lot, lot more. So we're destroying a, a decent amount of the bullets here, but the lasers we cannot destroy. This thing's amazing, man. I love this thing. Obviously, it has run out of ammo pretty swiftly there, but not to worry. The Schlogger. That seems like a shotgun to me. I'm going to take the Schlogger. It's cursed, obviously, but I'm intrigued nonetheless. Ooh. Okay, it's a shotgun slugger, I see. It fires shotgun. It, sh it fires a shotgun blast of slugger bullets. The slugger. I mean, tier eleven for a very good reason. It uses five ammo per shot as well, which is pretty nutty, but manageable. Not quite as manageable when the game doesn't give us ammo, though. So, not ideal. Ooh, or the Flame Eraser. A little less ammo hungry. Ah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm happy with what I've got going on, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, let's, let's deposit this weapon in here. And go back and grab this. I don't go through here very often. I think it's a pretty cool area. Um, blood doesn't do anything different with this, does it? No. Kind of a tricky one. I guess I'll go with impact wrists just because if we're going for a loop here, it's it's pretty good on loop. Now, we've got to be ready for the boss enemies because they're pretty tricky in this area. But luckily, having a blood weapon is going to make this area easier. Not completely steamroll it, obviously, but just being able to destroy shots is uh, a pretty huge advantage when there's shots literally goddamn everywhere. And also, to be fair, a lot of these enemies are getting one shot by this thing too. There's our boss there rolling about. I see him. Managed to hit me. When did, he's moving quite fast, to be honest. I don't know how easy this guy's going to be. I kind of expected him to roll over and let him, ki let him let us kill him, but he's kind of doing a good job of not letting that happen. But we do get ourselves a golden weapon. I like the fact that you get the weapon back when you kill him. I need to remember that. It's more worthwhile to come to this floor, considering you don't really actually give anything up to come here. Golden plasma gun, though, is a really good starting weapon. 
It's probably one of the better ones in terms of damage. We did get our ultra. Although I don't believe we've got a secret ultra unlocked for this guy as of yet. Yeah, impact wrist is proven to be good. I think impact wrist as well, as, as, as good as it is for actually dealing damage, which I think it is definitely decent and better than the base game, I think the main advantage really is the amount of walls it destroys for you, because it just gets shit out of the way and opens up more space for you to sort of play around a little bit. Um, Blood wall. Now, blood wall is interesting. Orbiting yo-yo gun. Ooh, that's also interesting, although the orbit's quite far away. I'm going to try out this blood wall, you know, because I'm just thinking that, like, being able to actually destroy, like, projectiles in a wall fashion seems pretty goddamn good. We've got the schlogger ready to go. Okay, so our ultra here. Enemies drop chests. Open mind. Increases chances. Infinite ammo the first seven seconds of entering a stage. That's always very, very nice. Again, a partner. Reduce the ammo red cost by 5%, increase primary reload speed, uh, depending. I think I'm going to go with the chests. Try that out. I forget that this in enters the um, inverted area, to be honest. I'm a not, I'll be honest, I'm not overly prepared for the inverted area, so we might die in here. I don't really remember what happens in this area, but I can imagine with certain enemies it's not good. I'm going to add shotgun onto that. Luckily, we've got second stomach to help us out. Director plasma shotgun. Oh, boy. Oh, that thing's saucy. But I'm going to stick with my blood weapon here to be able to just take out a wall of bullets. I need to sort of remember that a little more often. A razor? Come on now. It's not good enough, is it? Radiation. Blood. Definitely putting blood on this. Thank you. Oh! I did not expect you there. Get out of here, boy. And we'll take ammo for that. Okay, so like for example, in a situation like this, this boss is this 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 boss is very very difficult. The inverted version of this guy, but I think I think this weapon might make it a bit easier. So I, I slugger, I fire a few sluggers. He also moves to you very very quickly, as you can clearly see. Like a bit too quickly, like boy. Hold your damn horses. Yeah, see, blood weapon's the way to deal with that guy. Normally an absolute menace, but a blood weapon sorts us right out. Now, I forgot we have to fight the inverted version of this guy, which I don't even particularly remember what he does. But, whenever he starts firing off too many shots to deal with, We, we know a way. There you go. Not too bad at all. Okay, this is a good setup. I like this. I like this a lot. Right. This this shotgun's still going to be good for us here. I bet one of the uh, skins for this guy is something to do with the guitar, but... I've already passed it by now. The only thing about the blood weapon is that it does have very limited range. Auto heavy grenade launcher. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? Okay, just be careful here. Holy crap, he's coming at some speed there. Some absolute speed. See, this, this is just like a weapon with like unlimited amounts of protection for you. Super Flame Eraser, I think that's going to be quite good for us. Um, why not? <laughs> it one-shot that boss. So now this is like necessary for an area like this. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful is what it is, I'll tell you that for sure. There is a boss somewhere around here that we kind of missed out on there. There he is. Dude, that's two bosses in a row. This thing's just one shot. It's amazing.
Flame Director Jaw Eraser. Oh my god! <laughs> That's muy bien. We got an inverted area here, but I don't know what enemies remain. I honestly, I don't even know how enemies re remain is the bigger question. Right, through we go. I need to switch over to Narrow Future. People have been telling me, I said telling me, people have been berating me for not taking Narrow Future after I've got to max rank, which I honestly completely agree with and understand why, why you would do such a thing, because it is very stupid to not take it. There's a golden weapon for us there. I forget what this thing is. Lots of golden weapons unlocked. I said we were going to get some golden weapons today, didn't I? That thing's... Oh my god. With shotgun shoulders, that thing is just beautiful. <laughs> get wrecked, boy. So we're just in all inverted areas now. I like it. I like it a lot. This blood wall is... What the hell is that? <laughs> I like it. It just fires a bit of everything. Done here. We go with frost on this. Do you know what? I'm gonna deposit this bad boy. There you go. Put that thing in there. Save that for a rainy day. Uh, and change my crown, as I mentioned, because people keep telling me off. Hold up. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I go through there, I've got to come over here and claim some prizes. Lovely stuff. Okay, I think we are ready to change our crown. So we want to go with Narrow Future, don't we? Um, which I don't even know where that is. Where the hell's Narrow Future? Crown of Echo. Your weapons fire twice, reload time is almost doubled. Ooh, that sounds kind of interesting. Do I just not have it? Oh, there you go. Free mutation in our future. Good stuff. Okay, um, I've got so many patiences that I'm probably going to do patience and try and get something, like, really, really good. I don't actually know what I'm fishing for, to be honest. I haven't really thought that far ahead. anyone ever disses Blood Wall. Okay, I honestly don't know how I died there. That was kind of ridiculous. A guy seemed to swipe me from behind. It's a little bit unfortunate, but I think honestly, although it's a shorter video, that was a succinct and beautiful run that I think should be left to stand the test of time. Um, and just, just be in awe of it. I'm a little, little, little teed off that I died by getting one shot. Uh, such is Nuclear Throne, I suppose, but ugh. It's always a bit annoying. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy it nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.